Say hello to my little friends. Always nice being by the pond. Today, guys, we are going to be looking at the allotment patch with the dog with us. And we're just going to be looking how we set our allotment up, really, and what it consists of. And it's not a lot, you know, it's actually quite, um, you, you know, it's quite basic stuff, really. It's nothing too crazy, as you can see. But let's get into it and take a look. Take a look around and see what it takes to create a little allotment on your garden. So we've been growing on this for like probably three or four years now. Uh, you know, with fabric pots all raised. But the first thing that we did was we picked the area where we wanted it to be. So I wanted something with 60-70% you know, sun and then 30% or 30-20-30% yeah, shade. So it's a south facing garden. So if you look up in the sky, the sun comes up the year somewhere, travels around to the side here, and there's nothing on the side blocking it off. So this is a nice little patch where it starts, you can see it's starting to get shady now and it's around about, I think it's six or six, up at six, seven o'clock or whatever. So it starts cooling down now, which is great. As opposed to over that side of the garden there, where it is absolutely boiling till the sun goes down really at nine, ten o'clock in the night. So once you've picked the section, we put a little picket fence in with a gate. As you can see, let's take a look from this angle over here. As you can see, very nice. And this is nothing fancy, you know, just some timber screwed into the floor. I did actually concrete this post in and drill it to the pond there. Which is mainly to keep the dog... Blaze, come here, boy. Mainly to keep the dog out of you when we're not around. You know, he's more than welcome to come in here when we, you know, when we are around because we can, you know, interfere. But as you can see, looks like mischief and he is. Um, so this, once you've sectioned your section off here, the second thing that we did then was we just got a load of raised pots. So we picked out these fabric pots. We've also got some, let me show you the pots a little bit more detail. So we've got some of these really nice fabric pots which breathe really well and they never get over watered because the water just drains out of them really nicely. So I've got some slightly smaller ones. We've also got this plastic potato sack, they called. We've also got some uh, plastic containers, you know, probably, you know, more plasticky than anything else. And we do use just your normal pots as well, just for smaller stuff really. And mainly all we grow is veg. We have a few trees here for a bit of fun. I have some, I have one or two bonsais around, some herbs and things like that. So veg, fruit, and a few trees that we just like, you know, nothing too exotic or crazy, just things we enjoy really. And the plan, the, or the idea is, is every year we get two lots of potatoes. Every year we get two lots of onions. And the fruit trees then just do their own thing and we get fruit as and when they are willing to give them to us, really. So, first step was the picket fence. Second step, well, first step was the location. Second step, picket fence. Then we had the fabric bags. Now, coming on to the fourth step, which was the greenhouse. So, we introduced the greenhouse, you know, just your polytunnel type greenhouse um, into the this area straight away pretty much because we want to do you know do seedlings and have a little bit of protection for certain things here and there and this one i'll be honest is 30 pound off ebay at the time i don't know what they are now but this thing honestly let me show you the temperature you know it was 28 degrees now 43 and the lowest has been is nine so as you can see it gets the temperatures that you need honest you know i'm like six foot five and as you can see, not really, I'm only messing. <laughs> I'm actually like 5'10", so, or 5'11". Depends on, you know. And you can see i got plenty of space in here for me. So that's pretty cool. And this is, I've actually had this in 30 or 40 mile an hour winds last winter. And this has been up for, I think this is, it's got to be three or four years old now, surely. But I actually attached it to the fence. So even though it's up against the fence like that, it still gets enough sun. As you can see, you're still getting sun in here. The temperature's really warm. I've got the door open today just to get a bit of air in there because we have some tomatoes in here, onions, a border collie dog just doing his own thing, some cucumbers, chilies, that kind of stuff. And it's a great little space, really, if I'm honest. Really, really good. And the dog seems to like it. So that's pretty cool. 
Yeah, so, you know, those were the three or four main things for us, really. Um, we do have a little bit more space here, but we probably wouldn't um, put anything else here now. We have kind of said, you know, quietly, look, let's not do anything else just yet until we get more space at some point, you know, hopefully. But overall, to create something like this doesn't take a lot of effort, really. Well, I guess it does. You know, you still got to, you know, section it off and may treat it like an allotment. You got to tend to it every day. Like I, I'm even here you know, some days in the morning before work or whatever. So you do have, you know, you do have to put the time in, shall we say, uh, looking after this kind of thing. You know, but it's definitely worth it. And you know, not a lot of space. This is perfect for you. You know, you need to create a little section of your own. Get some raised beds. Get some soil. You know, get yourself a little greenhouse if you can, and then you've got to pick the veg and the fruit that you want to grow. And you can see why the dog gets too excited in you, and he starts rubbing on it and everything, and he smells like garlic. And at the end of the day, <laughs> but yeah, you know, the, one of the biggest things that I love about this little garden is there's so much life in there, and you know, we can even see we got strawberries growing over here. And you can see the strawberries looking pretty cool here. And then you've got the fish over here. I just got some pots out at the minute, but you know, the pond makes it really, really uh, a great little space to be in. And I'll be honest, without this little space in the garden, it would be a boring garden. So yeah, so thanks for watching guys. I just wanted to do a little setup video, I guess, of how the um, allotment is set up. And you know, as time goes on, I'm sure it will change somewhat. But yeah, let me know what you think below, any improvements, anything I could do better, or anything that you would do. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Pow!